Hi guys, welcome to RPA Feed. In today's video, we'll see the difference between robotic process automation and agentic process automation. First, we'll touch base upon what is RPA, key features and application of RPA, then what is APA, key features and application of APA, then the difference between RPA and APA, then we'll talk about future of automation with respect to these two, and then we'll conclude. So let's get started with what is RPA. RPA is robotic process automation. When I say robots, they are not humanoids or walking and talking physical robots. Basically, it's a software robot which executes the task, repetitive task based on how you have coded your bot to do those tasks, right? It's basically bot that automates your repetitive rule based task. It often includes data entry, transactional processing, and things like that. Now, coming to key features, these are few of the key features of RPA, of this technology. Non-intrusive integration, rule-based automation, scalability, accuracy, and consistency. So these are some of the key features that RPA as a technology offers. Coming to the application where you can apply RPA. So you can apply RPA in these segments. Uh, um, you can apply RPA across these industries like customer service, accounting, manufacturing, healthcare, and human resource. Apart from there, also you can apply RPA, but I have just talked about, I have just picked a few of the major industries. Then coming to APA. What is APA? APA stands for Agentic Process Automation that represents evolution going beyond your vanilla RPA or traditional RPA by incorporating uh, solutions from based on artificial intelligence and machine learning. So giving a flavor of AI ML to your RPA bots can be termed as agentic process automation. So these systems are designed to handle more complex tasks that that may require learning, adapting to the situation and some decision making. As you know, RPA just only works based on the rules that we configure. However, using APA, you can analyze data, recognize pattern and make decision. Your bot can make decision based on the code that you write. So this is the uh, real difference in RPA and uh, APA. We'll cover those. Coming to the key features of APA. So intelligent decision making, adaptability, complex task automation, integration with AIML. These are few of the key features. However, it does not mean that APA is going to stay and RPA will go away. No, they will work hand in hand because this comes with an added flavor of decision making and adaptability. Still RPA bots or rule based bots would be needed. Now coming to the applications, these are kind of similar. Uh, the, the areas where you can apply APA still remains similar, right? With few additional things like fraud detection, uh, supply chain optimization, rest like wherever you use RPA, you can to improve your process and to introduce a decision making and adaptability in that process, you can still go ahead and use APA in into that particular industries or applications. Now, coming to the comparison between RPA and APA based on certain criteria. So if you see, uh, depending on the complexity of task, RPA or robotic process automation is best suited for simple repetitive tasks with well-defined rules. Whereas APA is capable of handling complex tasks that requires decision making and adaptability. Coming to the technology part, technology criteria, RPA bots relies on predefined rules and structured data, whereas APA incorporates AIML to analyze unstructured data and learn from interactions. When it comes to flexibility, so RPA bots are limited to automating tasks that follow a set of pattern. However, APA is flexible and adaptable. APA bots are flexible and adaptable also capable of handling dynamic and evolving tasks. In terms of implementation, RPA is easier and quicker to implement due to its non-intrusive nature. However, APA bots 
require more complex setup and integration often involving ai ml models so these are four such criteria that we consider for comparing rpa and api i got it from pro agent uh, github repository a workflow diagram that demonstrates robotic process automation versus agentic process automation if you see here uh, there is this this is the command or this is the task that a person wants to do download all papers from some website every day and send me the important uh, ones so this is if if you perform these task based on rpa and apa what would be the result and how how much adaptability will be there how much decision making can be made so most of the decision making like if you add a ai flavor uh, obviously in agentic process automation there will be ai flavor so obviously it will act upon uh, it will act more on the data that we retrieve from the source system right but however rpa will just follow a rule based a uh, structure workflow or a data flow that we configure it to do like based on the if else conditions right but there will be no more uh, learning uh, decision making power to rpa so as you can see in the diagram it's it says like can only handle rigid tasks this can handle rigid and flexible tasks so it just down it will just download all the papers but however after uh, apart from downloading papers it can send you it can classify you which are the important ones and send you only those for your action so that is a little bit of difference here between rpa and apa in this data flow diagram now come talking about the future future of automation with respect to rpa and apa so future of automation is obviously rpa going in hand in hand with apa and when i say apa it's a flavor of ai ml infusing ai ml into your rpa logic or solutions so we can go ahead and do intelligent automation no more only traditional rpa projects now all will be intelligent automation uh, solutions where we add more flexibility or more decision making power to our rpa bots we build our solution that way then ethical and responsible automation uh, this can be achieved with the help of uh, this uh, a, uh, combination of rpa and apa human bot collaboration this is one such capability then hyper automation which it will involve rpa apa ai ml to automate many processes within the organization and end to end right it is not only limited to your rule based repetitive work it will be will try to automate end to end enhance ai integration industry specific solutions are few more such examples that we can build using and combining these technologies let's conclude now whatever we discussed so apa or agentic process automation and rpa represents two pivotal technologies that would be driving the future of automation while rpa will excel at automating simple and repetitive task apa brings a new level of intelligence and adaptability when i say intelligence the power of decision making understanding the difference and complementary strength of these two technologies is essential for organizations that are looking to grow or build solutions and utilize the full potential of automation so this is what the comes out as a conclusion after knowing both these technologies hope you like this video in case you do please hit the like button share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have any concerns or questions regarding these topics feel free to contact me you can email me or you can reach out to me via any of the social handles thanks for watching this video we'll see you in the next video